Hey everybody, so obviously we're doing some more lawn care stuff here today. Uh, thanks for joining and subscribing if you haven't already. Please be sure to do, like and comment below. So tell me what you're doing for your projects. I'd love to see where you guys are from, what you're doing, what works, what doesn't work. But this works for me and I'm not an expert, but these products work best for me through my research and development and what I decided what products may work best for me in my yard. So first thing I want to talk about here, try to make this quick. I know most of my videos are under three minutes, but I try to keep this under five. I have a lot to cover, a lot of information. So I wanted to show you a little bit about my lawn care products that I'm using as far as my biostimulants and micronutrients that I'm doing in conjunction with my standard fertilizer program. I'm doing granular and liquid this year. So it's been three weeks since I fertilized and I already used one application of the Next Aerate from Green County Fertilizer Company. They're based in Greensboro, Georgia. Bought this product from Yard Mastery. Uh, wasn't sponsored by anything. But uh, very easy, free shipping from them. Buy three quarts of any product, or buy, yeah, buy three quarts of any product, get one free. So the next product I'm gonna be doing, I like to spoon feed my yard, which I'm gonna be doing the microgreens for my next application, or probably within a week or two. I don't wanna, you can mix these products together, or at least the, the, the next aerate with uh, standard fertilizer, liquid fertilizer. I don't like to do that just because I like to spoon feed my yard. Uh, every couple weeks or so, uh, three or four weeks in the springtime, and then I kind of lay low in the, in the summertime during the hot months. So I want to show you a quick, I'm going to do a quick demonstration here with a probe. This is actually a yard stake from like a volleyball net. I kind of want to show you a quick demonstration on an area I did yesterday in the front yard versus areas here in the backyard and how effective it was so far. We had a little bit of rain, so it wasn't too heavy. And then the watering instructions actually aren't listed on this product, which is kind of odd. I had to find them on their website. So they do recommend water within 24 hours, as long as it's not going to be heavy downpours or anything like that. But this, uh, I looked through some different products, really what I wanted. I wanted to find something with uh, some mi some macronutrients, of course, it's got the 005, and I wanted something with um, some micros as well, including some humic acid and fulvic acid. Okay, so it's different than some other products like, um, what was the other kind? Simple Lawn Solutions. They have... Uh, it's just like more of a soil loosener or conditioner. So from what I saw on the label, I didn't see anything with any macros or any other humic acid and fulvic acid. So this humic acid, it's got 8%. And of course, it's got the 5% um, potash or potassium. So the humic acid is extremely important for overall soil health and growth. It actually increases the, the root growth, increasing soil moisture retention, and obviously stimulates those beneficial microbes. The fulvic acid is actually great for um, ensuring that, you know, transport of nutrients from the soil to the grass. So it helps, essentially it helps efficiently absorb those nutrients. Okay, so here's what we got. 4% fulvic acid, 8% humic acid. And there's no watering instructions. They say you can dilute this up to, or apply up to six ounces per thousand square feet. This this bottle will cover probably around between five to 5,500 5, square feet. My front yard was about six. So I was able to make it stretch. And you're supposed to dilute this with a minimum of seven parts water to uh, one part product. So for instance, I already put, um, I have five, five ounces here that I'm going to be putting in. I already put my first five ounces in. So we'll pour another five in here. Okay. Without making too much of a mess. It should be pretty good there. Anyways, so this stuff stinks. I mean, it's not supposed to smell good, but what are you going to do? Works good. So I'll pour it in. Okay, and then I'm doing basically 35 ounces minimum to uh, five ounces product. So this is about a quart and a half. So I'm at about 40, what, 48 ounces or so. So I'll mix that in. So now I have 10 ounces in here. Okay, I'll have to fill that up even more for my backyard. But I wanted to show you a quick demonstration here about this product. So here's what I have here. I'm going to show you a little bit. Okay, now walk with me here. Now this spot is actually probably hard to do a demonstration because I did some aeration on this um, in the fall. But let me see if I can find a hard spot here. Okay, that's not bad. With a little effort, got about six to seven inches. Okay, and then we'll go here to the front real quick. And that's pretty much it. So while we're doing that, um, Tell me a little bit about your projects, your plans, what you guys got going for this spring or summer. I want to show you a really good spot here. So right up here, 
I can set you there. Okay, so with a little bit more effort, but not a lot, I'm able to get probably about 10, at least 10 inches down versus like the six and a half to seven. I mean, it may not be a whole lot difference, but that's just one spot. So I'll just keep in mind for your whole yard what it's gonna do for you. But all in all, grass is looking good and I'm ready to do the back. So stay tuned, be sure to like and subscribe for more videos. And then for my next round in two to three weeks, I'm gonna be doing those microgreens. So for my, mic my micronutrients, and I'll do my next round of fertilizer prior on Memorial Day. So all in all, stay tuned and hope to talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching.